Hello and good morning. Welcome to our first fat burning Friday workout. Today we are doing a 20 minute yoga inspired HIIT workout that is no repeat. We're going to do 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest for 20 minutes straight. These are low impact movements that anybody can do right from home without any equipment. And these are inspired by the amazing Yoga Burn Fitness System for Women that I have linked around this video. I also have my Amino H2O BCAA supplement to help power me through this workout, give me some extra energy while we're just waiting for everybody to come on. We'll wait another minute or two before we get going. Of course, I need to get my slippers off. It's a little bit cold. Um, I'm here in Ontario, Canada. I would love to know where you currently are, what the weather's like, how you're doing, because it's different all over the world right now. And I know for us, we are currently in stay-at-home orders. So, I mean, we're all good. We still got our home workouts. We still got yoga burn, so I'm just fine. Okay, I've got a playlist on for us. We'll see how that goes. Turn it up a little bit so you can hear it. And we're gonna start with a gentle warm up to get us going. I am gonna be using my Apple Watch um, to time us. We'll put it on this and that's what I'm going to be using for the timing so you don't have to worry about keeping track of the time or anything like that I will do everything for you so let's go ahead and get started to see how this setup is now if the comments are in the way you can just swipe over to the right and that'll help um, move them out of the way so you can see the mat a little bit better put this down even more here so you can get Good. Good. Okay. So we're going to come to the top of our mat, standing nice and tall, drawing the shoulders back and down. Three times, inhale, sweep the arms overhead, touch the palms. Exhale the hands down, three center, fold over the legs. Breathe in to lengthen the spine. Tight, breathe out and fold. And we rise all the way back up with a big inhale. Hands down to the Two more like this. Inhale up. Forward fold. Lengthen. Let it go. Rise up. Arms high to the sky. Hands down through center. One more time, just like that. Rise up. Forward fold. Lengthen the spine. Let it go. Rise all the way up. Touch the palms. Exhale, hands down through center. Awesome job. We're going to open the arms out nice and wide to the side. Then you're gonna give yourself a big hug, crisscrossing your arms. So open up, big hug, open up, big hug. Perfect. Warming up those shoulders. You got it. Last thing we're gonna do is for the hips. So you're gonna stand tall with your hands on your hips. Lift the knee up, making a big circle, then setting the foot down. Other side. So you're trying to really circle around through the hip joint, starting to warm up the glutes, open through the fronts of the hips. Yeah. Then I'm gonna get us going. I'll tell you the first exercise. We start in a forearm plank. Like I said, we're going to be doing 40 seconds work, 
20 seconds rest. So during that 20 second rest, you can stretch, you can grab a drink, you can just breathe. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. Come on down. And first, let's just come all the way down to our belly and take a second to set up the forearms to make sure we're successful. So, you wanna have your elbows right underneath your shoulders and then make sure that you can reach for opposite elbows like so. From there, we're gonna bring our palms together. Now, draw your shoulders back and down and just hold this position we're waiting for 15 more seconds before we get started in this first working set, 40 seconds work. Get ready. Five, four, three, two. Curl the toes under, take your plank. Now we're gonna do, you could just hold this or try around the world. So you touch out with one hand, touch out with the other hand, then out with one foot, out with the other foot, around the world. One hand, other hand, foot, foot. If that's too much, you're just holding plank. Breathe in deep. 10 more seconds, and we're done that first one already. Five, four, three, two, and one. And stop. There's our first 40 seconds. <laughs> Next exercise is lunge and kick on the right side. So you're gonna be standing nice and tall on your mat, core pulled in strong. Let's go ahead and start. You're gonna step one foot back, we'll stay on the same side, and rise up and give a little kick. So down, rise up and kick. Keep going, keep breathing. <laughs> Sorry for my huge dog in the way. <laughs> 15 seconds, back. over here, over here. Good boy. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. <laughs> 20 seconds rest, then all we're gonna do is switch legs. So same thing on the other side. Good boy. Five, four, three, two, lunge, up and kick. If that's too much, you could just lunge and step up. Core's in nice and tight. Twenty seconds. Great job. Ten. Four. Three. Two. And one. Nice job. Heart rate's starting to get up. It's climbing. We got rotating side plank to a push up. I'll show you the variation on the knees to start. So you'd have your knees bent, you go over to one side, side plank, push up in the center, roll over to the other side. Other option is from the toes. Side plank, push up. Now we're doing a chaturanga push up. That means it's narrow. Elbows in tight to our sides. Oh. Woo, that push up is hard today. Three, two, one. Ah, good job. We're gonna be staying down on the mat for the next one for line leg raises. Three, two, one. You 
to lower the legs and lift them up. If that's too intense, you could alternate the legs. If double legs is too much, keep your core in nice and tight.
stretching way back into a lunge. You're going to pull up and squeeze your core. Getting into a forearm plank. Ah. Woo! You're doing so good. So good. Good boy. <laughs> Walk your feet up into a into a pipe, dolphin, and walk your feet back. Take your walking up.
So you're sweeping your arms up over your head, chair. Sweeping your arms up over head, chair. Tummy tight, back flat. If reaching to the floor is too much, just touch your thighs. Touch your thighs. 10 seconds.
one more time. Great, press your hands down towards the floor. Lean your head over to one side. Circle the chin down along the chest. Head over to the other side. Ah, good job. Whew. Now what we've done is created the afterburn effect, which means our metabolism is gonna burn at an elevated rate for the next few hours at least. Some people say it can last from 24 to 48 hours, which is why those short, effective little workouts can actually do so much more for us than the hour long, more low intensity workouts. Instead, commit to 15, 20, 30 minutes, whatever you have of really working your hardest. And in my experience and with the experience of hundreds of thousands of women in our community, that's how we can get great results while saving time because we do those high intensity workouts that really help us burn a ton of calories and create the afterburn effect. So I will share in the comments which playlist this is if you guys wanna listen to it. And then be sure to tap the links I've placed for you around this video to check out the 15 minute follow along from home power yoga routine, the first we ever created, which has helped so many women in our community look and feel their absolute best, as well as Amino H2O to help power you through all of your workouts, boost your endurance, increase your energy, and help your body recover naturally as well. So I will see you next Friday for our next Fat Burning Friday. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like and share it on your page so you can inspire other friends and family members to do this workout too. I'm wishing you a great weekend. Get out there and enjoy yourself. We'll see you soon. Big hugs, lots of love, bye-bye.